Members of the original Good Times cast, John Amos and Bernadette Stannis, have shared their thoughts on the upcoming animated reboot of the classic sitcom, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Amos, who played the patriarch James Evans, said, I really can't form an opinion, as I've not seen any of the episodes yet. He also mentioned that the original show set a high standard, and he doesn't think the new animated version will be able to match that level of entertainment and education. Bernadette Stannis, who portrayed Thelma, said she hadn't watched the trailer but had heard mixed responses to it. Stannis also stated that Netflix reached out to her and asked her to voice a small part, which she did. She mentioned that Jimmy Walker, who played JJ on the original show, also has a minor role. However, she said she didn't know the show would turn out the way it has. She expressed, I thought it was going to be different. Stannis conveyed skepticism, saying, So I guess they figured, if you put us in there, it wouldn't look so bad or whatever. In my opinion, it sounds like she's implying that either they were dishonest with her or they withheld their true intentions. If she had known the show's actual direction, she might not have participated. Feel free to share your thoughts below. What do you think she's saying? Do you believe Netflix failed to inform her about the show's inclusion of stereotypes about Black Americans, including a drug-dealing infant character? Also, Eric Monty and the family of Mike Evans released a statement to Comedy Hype News expressing their dissatisfaction with the reboot. Eric Monty and Mike Evans are the original creators of the Good Times series. The Netflix animated reboot features voice talents like J.B. Smoove, Yvette Nicole Brown, Jay Farrow, Marci Martin, and Gerald Slink Johnson. It is executive produced by the late Norman Lear, as well as Steph Curry and Seth MacFarlane. The new version has faced criticism from some fans for leaning into stereotypes, which differs from the original show's portrayal of a working-class Black family. Yvette Nicole Brown has defended the new version, saying it is edgier and more irreverent than the original, but still stays true to the show's themes of family and fighting the system. Before I go, I would like to point out that Studio Moshi is the animation studio that was used for the reboot. I'm assuming these people work for the company. I do not see one black person in this photo. There could be a light-skinned black person in the mix. It's difficult to tell, but to the best of my knowledge, there is not one black person in this photo, which is good and bad. It's a good thing that no black people signed up to lend their talents to creating this atrocity, but it's also a bad thing because anyone can create something about us without our input. Be sure to check out our previous video about the backlash the reboot is receiving. The first episode was released on Netflix on today, April 12th. After the backlash it received, I'm surprised they went through with it. Be sure to leave your feedback about the release in the comments. Click that like button and subscribe or follow. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.